So in the Zuma 7 trial across 77 sites, 359 patients were enrolled. And uh, the primary endpoint of the study was event-free survival, which was really defined as uh, patients who did not need other therapy beyond the, the therapy they were to get on that randomized trial arm. They had not progressed. They didn't, they were, remained alive. Um, and and um, the primary endpoint of event-free survival in the Zuma 7 study was, was met. Uh, and in fact, the median event-free survival for the AxiCell arm was 8.3 months compared to two months for the standard of care arm. And importantly, the 24-month event-free survival rate was 41% in the AxiCell arm compared to 16% in the standard of care arm. What does that mean? Well, that means that patients randomized to AxiCell could expect a 41% chance of remaining in remission without need for additional therapy as compared to 16% of patients who randomized to standard of care could expect at two years to have not needed other therapy than that planned combination chemotherapy and autologous transplant to occur. So clearly better event-free survival with a statistically significant uh, p-value of less than 0.0001 uh, favoring the axicel arm. And so um, really remarkable results that suggest for a patient who needs the second line treatment after initial frontline therapy for a large B-cell lymphoma, that the best bet for that patient is to go on and get axicaptogene seleucil as their very next line of therapy. And therefore, early referral and, and getting them into the treatment center as quickly as possible is, is important. The safety profile of CAR T-cell therapy is very well described. Uh, the therapy can cause two main categories of toxicities, the cytokine release syndrome, characterized by high fevers, um, sometimes low blood pressure or low oxygenation, um, whereas the, the standard care treatment regimen, which is chemotherapy followed by an autologous transplant responders, is also um, has toxicities that are known, uh, low blood count, cytopenias, infections. Um, and overall across the study, patients in either arm um, were were experiencing adverse events. 100% of patients in both arms experienced some adverse events. And the rates of grade three or higher adverse events were 91% with AxiCell and 83% for standard of care. So uh, quite high in both arms, but as expected, um, the, the rates of, of severe cytokine release syndrome was seen in 6% of patients in the AxiCell arm and severe neurologic events in 21%. And these are consistent with what we see in the third line setting for large B-cell lymphoma CAR T-cell therapy. Uh, importantly, uh, some patients did die on study of, of a grade five adverse events. Um, seven patients in the AxiCell arm or 4%, two patients in the standard of care arm or 1%. Um, but, but those um, uh, toxicities that were attributed to AxiCell was only one out of um, 170 patients. Whereas two patients uh, who received autologous transplant did die of treatment related mortality. Um, so, so overall comparable um, um, toxicities and expectations for patients going forward to transplant versus CAR-T.